Hello, hello, I'm Robin, and today I am cooking up a brand new experiment. So this experiment is a combination of the Queen Palm brandy that I made and a rum. So after doing the Queen Palm brandy and having to deal with those Queen Palm fruits, I said to myself, I'm not doing that again. It's such a pain in the ass. The fruits are really hard to work with and the wine is really viscous. It's super hard to read the specific gravity, etc., etc. However, I did another batch <laughs> and uh, yeah, that reminded me again how difficult it was. So this time what I have done is I have extracted some juice from the queen palm fruits and mixed it with molasses. The reason I decided to go with a queen palm and rum mash was because of the flavors that came through. They were super tropical and really unique and earthy and fun. And those are all things that I love in rums. So it seemed like the perfect combination. Uh, we will see about that. So I've taken about four gallons, almost a bucket full of the fruits. I cooked that down with just enough water to fully cover the fruits. And I cooked it down until the fruits started to fall apart a little bit. Um, after that, I let the fruits sit with some pectic enzyme and with a little bit of sugar to hope that that would do some sort of like maceration of the fruits and hopefully thin out the juice a little bit. Um, but the juice that was extracted was super viscous. So luckily I got for Christmas a wonderful fruit press and that saved me a whole lot of time. But out of those like four gallons of fruits, I only got out about a gallon of juice. <laughs> yeah. So I then added a gallon of grandma's molasses. This is unsulfured. You can find this at your grocery store. Um, and then added enough water to bring it up to about 1.080 specific gravity. All right, so the queen palm rum was successfully split into two buckets. There's about 3.2-ish gallons in each one, which would mean that I added about 4.4 gallons of water. But now I do have to agitate and I'm going to do that by filling up the molasses jug, shaking it, dumping it back in, and I'm gonna mix back in that aerated liquid. All right, so these are warm, aerated, and ready for yeast. I have rehydrated two teaspoons of yeast for each of these fermenters, and it's time to toss them in. I should note that I also added probably about a tablespoon of salt into each one of these because I read somewhere on the home distiller forum that someone's recipe called for salt. And yeah, so stay tuned. We'll see how these guys, uh, we'll see how these guys ferment. The queen palm fruit and molasses fermentations were both very happy and they stayed very happy for about 10 days, which was shocking to me. I even took a look under the microscope to see how happy the yeast were and you can see they were extremely happy. There were lots of them. But after those 10 days, it appeared that the happiness had stopped. The fermentation had settled down. There was no longer bubbling. And when I checked the specific gravity, the fermenters had essentially stalled out. They were stuck at 1.042 specific gravity. The temperature dropped here in California and yeah, maybe they just needed to bundle up a little bit. So I added in some yeast nutrient. I put one tablespoon of yeast nutrient in each bucket and I wrapped them in a towel to keep them warm. 
and fermentation started right up again. They were super, super happy. Again, lots of bubbling, lots of activity. And then a few days later, when the fermentation had settled again, the specific gravity had dropped down to 1.009. It's not dry. It's not down to 1.000. However, it's close enough. And I think that's as far as it's gonna go. So that would put us a little over 10% ABV, not bad. And that means it's time to take these wines to my lab to run through a low wines distillation and then a high wines distillation. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'm going to leave the recipe for this fermentation in the description down below and stay tuned because next week I will be finished going through the distillation for the Queen Palm rum or brandy or randy or whatever you want to call it and I will be tasting through that so you'll want to make sure to subscribe. I also want to give a shout out to my Patreons. I know I just started my Patreon account, uh, but hopefully that will continue to grow. And if you're interested in helping to support the channel and joining the community, I will also leave that link in the description. And mixing in that aerated uh, wash, that aerated wort, that aerated mash the aerated juice. I even looked under the microscope. You got it, baby. <laughs> Thanks, baby. <laughs> the microscope. Why can't I say microscope? Microscope. Microscope. There you go. Ah, oh, there it is. The specific gravity, gravity. You can do it, Robin. You can do it. And make sure this is... <laughs>